Hello viewers, this is Wagada Renal taking you through this tutorial for A-Level Applied Mathematics. In this video, we're going to talk about the topic of Vector Analysis for Composition and Resolution of Forces. So this one is still under mechanics and is suitable for students in both Senior 5 and Senior 6. Now these are the very questions I left in the previous video. I believe by now you have already tried them out and ready to mark yourself and check your progress. So we shall start with question one. Question one says that find the magnitude and direction. So question one came from UNEP 2015 paper two question one and say that find the magnitude and direction of the resultant of the forces and these are the forces. So we shall say that let F be the resultant force. Now when the forces are given in vector form, what you need to do is to first add all the vectors to come up with the resultant force. So when I add the, all these vectors, as you can see here, I'll come up with 5, 3 as my resultant force in vector form. So 5 comes from adding negative 3, 2, 4 to 3, 2, 1. Then 3 comes by adding negative adding 1 to 2 to negative 2 to 2 to come up with that. So now that I've got the force resultant force in vector form, remember the question wants magnitude and direction. So what I'll do, I'll have to first draw a right angle triangle representing this resultant force. So the horizontal is positive, that's why this 5 is going to the right, then vertical is also positive, that's why this vertical is going to the going in the upward direction so from start to end that is represent our resultant force magnitude and this theta will represent the direction of the resultant force so what you are going to do to get this f I'll have to use Pythagoras theory so I come and say magnitude of the resultant force will be equal to 5 squared plus 3 squared everything under root to come up with 5.38 sorry 5.8310 newtons Next also with this angle realize that this is the opposite and this is the adjacent so I come and say tan theta is equal to 3 over 5 and when I make theta the subject I'll come up with 30.9638 degrees. Then I'll come and conclude that my magnitude of the resultant force is 5.8310 newtons acting in the direction 30. 9638 degrees above the positive horizontal. So basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 is for you to add and B1 is for you to get its output. Then here M1 is for you to substitute in the Pythagoras theorem and A1 is for you to get the output. Then B1 is for you to get the direction. So that's how the five mass would come about. Now we shall go to question 2. Question 2 came from UNEP 2008, paper 2, question 3 and says the force A of magnitude 5 acts in the direction with unit vector 1 over 5 then 3i plus 4g and force B of magnitude 13 newtons acts in the direction with unit vector 1 over 13 in brackets 5i plus, sorry, minus 12j. Then they say that find the resultant of the forces A and B. So here we are given magnitude and the unit vector of the direction of that force. So what we are going to do, we shall come here and say that to get force A in vector form, we shall multiply the magnitude of that force with the unit vector of the direction which is D cap. So the magnitude of force A is 5 and the, unit, and the direction of the unit vector is 1 over 5 in brackets 3i plus 4j. So when I multiply the two I'll come up with 3i plus 4j newtons as my force A in vector form. So I'll do the same for force B. So force B I'll get the magnitude which is 13 and multiply by the unit vector of this direction which is 1 over 13 in brackets 5i minus 12j to come up with 5i minus 12j newtons. So now that I've got force FA and force FB in vector form, the next is to add the two to come up with a resultant. So I'll realize that the resultant force will now be 8, negative 8 newtons. So I'll come and conclude that therefore the resultant force which they want is 8i minus 8j 
Newton. So basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded. So B1 is for you to get the force F in vector form, another B1 for you to get a force F B in vector form and M1 is for you to add the two forces and A1 is for you to get the output which they want. So now we shall go to four, question 3. Question 3 came from UNEP 2006, paper 2, question 3 and says the resultant of the forces F1, F2 and F3 acting on a particle is 10, is this. Then they say find part A, the values of A and C and part B, the magnitude of the force F2. So here we shall say that let F be the resultant force and therefore F is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3 but F is 10, 12. So here come and substitute F is 10, 12 and F1 is that, F2 is that and F3 is that. So before we go to the next slide you realize that in this you will get a, a one mark for substitution. Then for the next we shall now simplify that come up with that and by equality of vectors you realize that 12 is equal to a minus c plus 11 which is that and when I make a the subject I'll come up with a being equal to 1 plus c then for the first call row we shall come up with 10 being equal to 7 plus 2a plus 3a now when I substitute for a I'll come up with that and when I simplify I'll come up with c being equal to 1 over 5 so when c is equal to 1 over 5 I'll come back here and get the value of a which will be 6 over 5. So basically that's what they wanted in part A. So now we shall go to part B. Part B we shall come up with they wanted the value of F2. So F2 will be equal to remember F2 is equal to 2A plus 3C of and 5. So we shall substitute for A and C to come up with F2 being equal to 3, 5. Then we shall come to get the magnitude of F2, which will be 3 squared plus 5 squared, everything under root, to come up with 5.8310 newtons. So basically that's what they wanted, and now we see how much can be awarded in this part. So M1 will be for substitution of A, and A1 will be for both getting the value of C and value of A. Here M1 is for you to substituting Pythagoras theory and A1 is for you to get the output. So basically that's how the mass would be good. Now shall go to question 4. Question 4 came from UNEB 1999 paper 2 question 2 and it says four forces this, this, this and that act on a particle. The resultant of the forces makes an angle of 45 with the horizontal find the value of a and hence determine the magnitude of the resultant force and they give it five marks so we shall first let f be the resultant force then we shall come and add all the forces to come up with our resultant force which is a plus seven i and three a minus nine j but they told us that it makes an angle 45 with the horizontal so it means that tan 45 degrees is equal to 3a minus 9 over a plus 7. But tan 45 is equal to 1, so I'll come up with that. And when I cross multiply, I'll come up with that. Now, before I go to the next slide, let's see how much can be awarded for this slide. So, B1 for adding everything and M1 for substituting here. So, now I, I when I simplify, I come up with 2a being equal a being equal to 16 and a will be equal to 8. Then for the hence part we shall come up and say that f will be the resultant force will be equal to a plus 7 and 3a minus 9. So I substitute for a here to come up with that which will be give me 15i and 19j. Then the magnitude will be equal to 15 squared plus 19 squared everything under root to come up with 24.2074 newtons so this uh, so a1 will be f getting the value of a will be a1 and m1 will be for substituting in the Pythagoras theory a1 will be for the final output so basically that's what they wanted so i believe you have marked yourself thank you for watching and 
be reminded that the next video will be on a topic of motion in a Cartesian equation sorry Cartesian plane involving constant velocity so if you have not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video on motion in the Cartesian plane involving constant velocity has been uploaded otherwise thank you for watching and also if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp so that you can all benefit as a family